You have heard it before. You have probably even thought it yourself. Oh man, traffic is bad. Why don't we just add an extra lane and that'll make everything better. As intuitive as that sounds, it doesn't work. It has never worked in the history of the automobile. Anybody that tells you it'll work is either lying to you or they're stupid as fuck. It's called induced demand and you need to hear about it. It was first identified in the 1960s and then every traffic engineer in the world promptly ignored it. La 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 la, I'm a princess. Traffic is bad. New road space is added. Billions are spent on it. Promises are made. Oh, it's gonna be perfect when we're done, just you wait. People hear about it, of course, and they change their routes to take advantage of it. They are seduced by it. Ooh, yeah, feels good. Traffic is flowing better, man. Things are really, really good right now. Developers, they build further out, taking advantage of this new capacity and the promise of free flowing lanes. And then, in the space of just one to five years, on average, everything is back to where we were when we started. Traffic sucks again, and it's often worse. 50% of induced traffic happens in the first year, and the rest gradually follows after that. This is not a theory. This is math. This is physics. In a study called The Fundamental Law of Road Congestion, we learned that for every 1% increase in road space, road capacity, there is a 1% increase in vehicle traffic. That is one to one. Nothing happens at all. This is also called Jevons Paradox. If you make something easier or more efficient, more people are going to be doing it. Highways don't solve congestion. They manufacture it. This is like a traffic Ponzi scheme that's been going on for decades. And guess who pays for it? You do with your taxpayer money and the new threats to your personal health. It applies to any highway, road, or even parking lot anywhere in the world. Make more space for cars, you get more cars. But here's the fun thing. If you remove space for cars, traffic evaporates. It simply disappears. There are so many studies that prove this point. Instead, let's invest in public transport, bicycle infrastructure, walkable cities, trees, and greenery. Because the narrative of induced demand and another lane will fix it is probably the greatest lie in the history of transportation.